Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles, and I have a special recipe for you today. You guys know that I don't play about delicious food over here. It's gotta be on point. And trust me, these noodles come through and deliver. I am so impressed, or I cannot believe how much they taste like traditional noodles. It is completely out of control. I almost have no words, I promise you guys. Oh my goodness. To get started, I add about three cups of water to a pot along with some kosher sea salt, along with a drizzling of olive oil to just make sure the noodles don't stick together while they're cooking. Once you drop the pasta into the boiling water, go ahead and give it a little stir and then let it cook for 10 minutes per the package. Even though we're gonna bake it in the mac and cheese, that still seemed to be a pretty good time. The texture came out so well. With traditional pasta, I'll usually cover the pot while it's cooking, but I didn't do it with this and it was just fine. I just went in and stirred it occasionally during the 10 minute cooking process. Everything came out great. I then let the noodles drain and start working on the wet wash for the mac and cheese. So that's gonna be three eggs, some heavy cream, of course with a little dash of salt and some more seasonings. And then my flavor god, garlic lovers. You guys know how I feel about this. This wasn't around when I was a kid, so my mom wasn't adding this in the mac and cheese, but I would suggest that you do. Not that mom's wasn't perfect, cause it was, but this adds something extra. Then I add a little bit of onion powder. By the way, all the details will be in the description box below for the measurements, so check that out. Then go ahead and just whisk together your wet wash of the eggs, heavy cream, seasoning, and salt. And you'll be pouring this over the noodles as you build your macaroni and cheese. We're also gonna wanna grate some white onion and add that to the mix. It may be unconventional for some, but it adds such a nice flavor to mac and cheese. Just trust me. Okay, so now it's time to start building our mac and cheese. Let's start layering in all the elements, starting with the noodles, then pouring in a little bit of the egg wash on top. Then we're gonna start layering on the cheese. Okay, so we can start layering in the cheeses. Let's start with mozzarella. By the way, I'm not even trying to big up the video too hard, but my mom just demolished, demolished a serving of this. It's ridiculous. I've been eating it all day. I made it yesterday, but I've been eating it for the most of the day because it's just that good. It's out of control. Once again, I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm not kidding. You have to make this. Italian blend. I love the mix of the cheeses, some provolone, some parmesan, add a little bit more saltiness. That's why you don't have to add that much salt to the recipe. Please don't, don't overdo it because the cheeses are salty enough. Then go ahead and add some of the shredded sharp cheddar. Say that three times. <laughs> the shredded sharp cheddar to the macaroni and cheese. This is one of the stars of the show. We can't do this without it. And it's absolutely delicious. So just add that on and we'll keep going and layering all this deliciousness in. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and add some more of the amazing noodles. <laughs> I don't know how the low carb bread company did it, but I, I'm so blown away. So we're gonna add another layer of that down with mozzarella. We're gonna stack all the cheeses again and then pour down that beautiful egg and heavy cream salted and seasoned wash. 
The egg and heavy cream wash is crucial to the process. It really helps bind everything together. Just before adding the last layer of ingredients, I decided to go back in with a little more flavor god because it's flavor god. <laughs> now's a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We've got a little bit more work to do. Give it about five minutes to get to the full heat. I then drizzled a little bit more of that egg wash onto the noodles and made sure to get it well combined. Not disrupting the layers or anything, but just, you know, just mixing it in a bit to make sure it's even. You can then go ahead and add another layer of all the cheeses, and then we're almost ready to put this in the oven. I'm very excited. This is such a good recipe. I think you guys are gonna really love it. I went in again with another dash of the Flavor God. Garlic lovers, you know how I feel about it. And then I'm just gonna add the remainder of the cheese. Did I say the last layer was the last layer of cheese? I don't know, but more cheese. Then go ahead and sprinkle on some more of those diced onions. Then go ahead and top the mac with a little bit more sharp cheddar. Then pour the remainder of the egg wash atop the mac and cheese, and we're just about ready to bake. I had some more of the diced onions left, so I sprinkled those on top of the cheddar. I then give a pan a little shake just to make sure the egg wash is evenly distributed, but it's so thick, I don't even know if that helps. <laughs> Then you can go ahead and add some generous dollops of Kerrygold butter or your butter of choice to the top of the mac and cheese. It's going to give the crust a nice golden brown look and just the flavor is going to be amazing. So go ahead and do that. Don't miss this step. I then added a little bit of kosher salt, sprinkle that on top, along with of course a little bit more flavor god. You know I'm weak for it. It had to happen. Then place the macaroni and cheese into an oven safe pan that's got about a cup to two cups of water just to fill it up to about the halfway line of the macaroni and cheese pan. And that's going to help the macaroni and cheese steam and cook well so that it's luscious on the inside and it's got that nice crispy top on the outside. Trust me this works. Pop the mac in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 and you get this. The focus of all my childhood foodie dreams come true.